Hello, this is Mary Chibb with Bentley Systems. Today I have another tip for creating drawings in Open Buildings Designer. If you find these tips helpful, please subscribe to the Open Buildings channel and turn on notifications so you will know when I upload a new tip. Today I want to talk about shadows. I have a nice drawing I created here from my building model. Nice variation of line weights and material patterns. But if this drawing is for presentation, some shadows would really help it pop so that you could detect the changes in plane. This can now be easily done by simply using a display style that has shadows enabled. However, there is a little setup you will need to do to make it happen. So first, I'm going to enable a configuration variable. I will do this in my workset configuration file. Now, if you have a CAD administrator in your company, you may want to check with them before making any changes to configurations. I am going to go to the Backstage and open File Explorer to the Design File location. Then I will navigate up to the Workset folder where I should find the configuration file for my current workset. I will open that in a standard text editor. I will then scroll down to the section where some standard microstation variables have been added. And here I have added a few more. The variable I need to enable solar shadows is the MS underbar smooth mode underbar shadows. If this variable is set to 1, then solar shadows can be shown in views that have a clip volume. The second variable you see there, MS underbar smooth mode underbar shadows underbar all, would do the same for source lighting that you might have in your model. I have commented this out for now as I am only in need of the solar shadows. Once the changes are made to the configuration file, you will need to close and restart the application. The second thing you will need to do is make sure your display styles with shadows are available for views created with clip volumes. If you open the display styles dialog and select one of the display styles with shadows that you would like to use, you will find a toggle under usable for and make sure clip volumes is turned on. I actually did this in the DGN lib and for all the presentation display styles with shadows. as well as a custom display style I set up for my project. Once that is done, I am ready to apply a display style to the drawing. I just need to open the reference presentation dialog. The first step is to make sure the reference has a display style that uses shadows, such as smooth shadows. Then I am simply going to change the forward view display style to the project modeling display style that I created and select OK. Now that did add some shadows, but I need to control the intensity and direction of the shadows. For that, I need to open the Light Manager, which is only available in the Model View, so I'm going to navigate to the Model View for this dynamic view. Then I will go to the Visualization tab and open the Light Manager. The dynamic view will always use the active light setup. Keep this in mind because that might mean you need to create separate drawing composition files for elevations on one side of the building versus another side, as you may want your shadows coming from different directions. Note that I have ambient, flashbulb, and solar lighting turned on in the light manager. All of these will contribute to the intensity of the shadows. If I turn off the ambient and flashbulb, you can see that the shadows become much darker. I can also modify the intensity of each with a slider. In order to control the direction of the shadows though, I need to go to the Solar tab and select Solar Position. Now you may be familiar with setting a location and time of day for the sun as well as a north direction. This is commonly used in rendering. However, there is another option which is to geometrically set the direction of the sun. On this tab, you can simply set the angle for the azimuth and altitude. 
For instance, I'll set the azimuth to 45 and the altitude to 45. And you can see I now have nice 45 degree shadows on my elevation. If I wanted larger shadows, I might increase the altitude angle. Or decrease it for smaller shadows. Once I get the shadows to display as I want, I can close the Light Manager and browse back to the drawing. Now just for fun, let's look at a few of the other presentation display styles. For instance, there is a presentation blue line with shadows. There is a presentation blueprint with shadows. And let's try the presentation monochrome with shadows. That gives us a nice grayscale drawing with shadows. Now, of course, you could do the same on a plan drawing. This one, for instance, is using the colored presentation style I created, but I could also change it to the presentation monochrome with shadows. And let's see how that all looks on the sheet. Very nice. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.